We arrived. Uh, are you tired? Uh, not yet. No. Not yet? Not okay, yet. great. Let's try and uh, make the house ready. It's totally shut down. We can barely see anything. It smells like a Z series yes, horror yes. Mo movie, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Dean Winchester in Supernatural. Like, oh, what yeah. happened here? Sammy? Sammy? <laughs> Come it's here. colder inside than outside, really. Okay, so let's try it. There is a smoke alarm just above us. And here comes the smoke. Ladies and gentlemen, so now we are uh, in front of a choice, we have to make a, a Cornelian choice. Do we die from smoke or from cold? <laughs> That's we will not question. die. <laughs> <laughs> you are this, uh, how it, uh, Rick, it was in Alien. We gonna die, man. So we got our own one. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, it's French. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what we'll do now is to prepare some Roman food that uh, soldiers were eating on the march, especially when they had just like uh, very few rations from outside and very few procurement. So that's the standard ration that a Roman soldier would have had. So we're talking about bucelatum, lardo, and um, some little things that you can find along the road. Here now, we're gonna make the lardo. And when it's warm, it tastes usually very good, but when it's cold and we're gonna have to eat cold tomorrow, it actually is not that, yeah, you know what I mean. So what is lardo? Lardo. Here is pig fat. Just that. What is Buzeran? Hiking, doing the crafts, cooking. You know what? Uh, I'm not necessarily a fan of the universe, but I think the system of combat. No, no, uh, a song of ice and fire. I don't necessarily like. So, Gaza is preparing the Posca, the famous uh, Roman legendary Roman military drink composed of salt, honey, water, obviously, and vinegar. It's perfect to retrieve some energy and to cut the effect of um, hunger. He's currently testing it. Uh, doing it uh, himself visibly he is satisfied so we will use it tomorrow when we have this uh, this march we're gonna do in the mountains and we're gonna drink some Stuff like that. It's a bit of a pain in the ass to find the 
right material around here. Now we are preparing the shoes of Hugues with a good old method. Namely here we collected some grass, some dead herbs and stuff like this. And we'll put that inside because it, one, insulates further from the cold because you have to see it's quite a, a thin leather sole here. So it will be good, it will be enough. I don't have much more than that. But by adding a layer of, of, of a cushion of air, it really helps a lot. And also, this helps keep your feet dry. We have impregnated those shoes here with a mixture of oil and wax, so they shouldn't get wet that fast. But we're out there in the snow for the entire day. We're lucky that it's below zero now, so the snow is not wet. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. But we're gonna add that and to protect tube's feet from getting cold or sweaty because that stuff sucks up all the moisture inside and you're operational for longer. So let's see, the thing is, my shoes are on purpose a bit larger than what I need them so that in winter I can add bigger layers, layers of socks and this stuff. Now Hicks shoes are quite well and tight fitted so we have to be really careful on how we spread that stuff here inside so that it's not too tight for him. There we go. You have to make sure you spread it evenly so that you don't have a big lump somewhere causing some issues. And you have to make sure that you get some on the back and on the sides as well because it actually prevents blisters. Because that stuff, it's like a second sock and it's an old known trick in the army to put on two socks, two pairs of socks, to reduce friction in your shoes. And whenever I do that, I never have blisters. So blisters are none of my real issues most of the time. And today our issue will be cold and wet. So one and two. Hmm, this is quite comfy. So I have put on my armor now, so I am almost ready, but what I will do is there is like a few sources that indicate that soldiers would not just pants about with an iron armor outside exposed to the elements. We've talked a, a bit about it already on this channel, like also that the swords and everything is rubbing against it and it's quite a rough surface, so like it's not good for the leather or anything. So I'm putting on um, always a layer over it. So there's sources to talk about something we can't really translate that well. It's like goat's hair or goat's leather or something. It's like there's a few different passages from several centuries in antiquity that talk about soldiers wearing something over their armor to protect it. We've also got some picture sources that indicate something like this. So here now I have a leather tunic um, that I have also used on the journey on the Danovina Alacris. And I'm gonna use that today as well. So I'm putting it on over the armor to protect it and to protect also the rest of the gear that I'm wearing over it. It's also possible that these things are worn under the armor and between armor and the armor padding or sub armor. So it's quite tightly fitting. And that helps at least a little bit. I will have to buy more leather and make it longer so that it protects also the exposed parts of the armor. So ideally, I will have a sort of longer tunic or a vest because we have also found some sort of vests that could be open in the front and could be put on like this. For now, this will have to do. It's also impregnated with wax and oil. So it is quite watertight. It's not gonna rain today or snow, but we are going to be exposed to the elements anyway. And since we're kind of on a transalpine passing mission, this is going to be very likely outfit for a guy like me. And me. Right, we are ready basically. So that's where we're heading to. Um, we have a bit of a delay today because it took quite a long time to, to get into gear and to film everything. So we want to film the process because we're just going on a sort of quick exploration, just looking over a pass, a mountain pass that has happened in winter several times already, as we said with Constantine the Great and also Flavio Stilico crossing the Alps several times, even in winter, 
and so we are here on one mission that is actually plausible. We are ready now. Hugh is here in the panoply of an early 4th century um, officer. It could be a protector, it could be uh, somebody uh, higher up in a legion, etc. We see the typical uh, we see the typical Pileus Panonicus, we see the armor, but not with the metal armor, it's just the super malice with some sort of globa over it. So it's lighter, but still representative. So it's a sort of light Lorica minor. So what we saw already is that uh, it's quite icy. We have about minus two degrees down here and it will be colder up there. So Hugh, what do you say about this mountain we're, we're heading to? Are you ready? I guess I am, because most importantly, I have the better, absolutely best uh, element on myself, uh, the best gear, my charisma and my determination. Oh, that's a great word. Okay, let's go. Omni et puellae, in your opinion, which way we will take? Do we will take the sunny, populated way or the dark forest here which in your opinion is the wisest to take i think the the dog is warning us actually yes <laughs> do not take this one this is let's why, go this way <laughs> this is why we're gonna head this way yes <laughs> mm, sorry but no hiking path. I don't like to listen to authorities, generally. <laughs> Three meters into the path, we are already struggling with ice. Oh, 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 fuck. <laughs> so, what about those authorities? <laughs> Let me go here. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Literally the sign is just there. <laughs> Let's try this. It's actually even more icy than last time we were here. And we don't have a, the same light equipment. We're quite a bit heavier this time. Uh, it's, it's not said that we can actually reach our goal, so we're, we're looking for the way that is the easiest to, to go. We have here two options, either that flatter one or the one up here. Qu'est-ce que tu dis? Et celui-là, il rejoint pas l'autre en haut? Is one chance. Let's go. How are you feeling so far? Contemplative. Just like a 19th century German philosopher or painter. <laughs> Dressed, uh, yeah. dressed as a third century yeah. Roman officer. That's what I call happy postmodernity when you can just pick <laughs> when you can, when you can pick your your you know your aesthetics from everywhere. So here we have Sankt Oswald, small valley with the slopes. It's a very nice old village here, and uh, this is the valley. 
from where we start and this is where we're going now Farewell. well enough contemplation oh, fuck uh, I'm sorry I feel bad that I'm filming but <laughs> let's pretend I was taking a nap but I went <laughs> <laughs> Just Parking one hell, second of inattention and just look. Yeah. Look at that bitch. Oh my god, man. Look at that bitch. Yeah. Fuck anyway. that. <laughs> yes, this will happen a few more times, I think, to me as well. Oh, fucking hell. Geza is currently having a little cup of Bosca. A fresh Bosca we just made today. It's really good. Uh, Definitely. I fucking love this shit. Yeah, a day saver. That's the way it is. Now I can continue my path. I, I think it's maybe not the best. Is it better or are we just gonna struggle through the deep snow there? Here is a welcome brunch consisting of Bukelatum. Art bread. <laughs> Spare me the Latin names because for me it's basically some cerealish cement. And that's all. <laughs> I'm gonna call it cementum. <laughs> cementum. We have our first short break, and Huck lost his phone apparently. So. Okay, so I'm gonna call him now to see if it's somewhere around here. Oh, successful mission. Where did you lose it? On the way. Just in the deep snow in the corner when you tried to go up? Started the way. Yeah. This way. 200 meters down. Fucking hell. Is it still working? I miss you, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Great, man. Oh. Damn. All right. That was already first adventure. Now let's have some Posca, huh? Posca to, to feast. Yes. He was retrieved. Oh. Motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. Ah, oh, God bless you, Posca. Yeah. Very good. That's the mountain life, huh? Yeah. We made some altitude already. Yes. But uh, we still have more than half of the altitude to go. And uh, more than half the way. And it's uh, almost two o'clock. So we'll probably have a chance to see the sun go down when we're up there. Let's hope that we won't freeze our asses by the time. Here we have now our cooked lardo. And um, it's now quite cold, of course. You usually eat it preferably warm, but we don't have the choice, and it's gonna not taste very well, but it's pure energy. Pure pig fat. And it's what we need fast energy. Fast energy for fast Romans. Exactly. <laughs> with the salt and with the dill, it's kind of okay. It doesn't really feel that much like. Um, Domitian's uh, belly fat, <laughs> but um, without the salt and the dill, I wouldn't eat it. How is the power diet for you? It's quite minimalistic, huh? but uh, it really does the trick. In fact, you can quite immediately feel the energy from the pig fat and some carbs from the, from the pretty pure carb um, bucellatum. Gracias Domitianus. Merci. Merci Domitian. <laughs> Thank you Domitian for your precious belly. <laughs> All the best. Yeah. And then our very own isotonic drink, of course. So we are actually not that badly equipped. Okay, let's put it in a better way. Um, yeah, we have to rearrange the spata first. Because it's a. Uh...
blood of an animal. We are so high in the mountain. Oof. But it's not finished. But we'll manage to get there. This is absolutely excruciating. I really need to change lots of things on my armor. I haven't had the time since last time I attempted this. My neck is killing me. My entire equipment is trying to strangle me in some ways. I barely get any air here. I always have to readjust it. And we have gained some altitude already. But uh, as last time, the high point of uh, gravity with all the weight being here, it really kills my energy because I have to balance it out on my feet. That just takes lots of energy from me. How is your life, Jürg? We are at 2,000 meters altitude. We are on the crest. We are closing to Volker Schachter. You can see all the valley from here. And now the wind is icy, so cold, absolutely terrifying. So we need to get quick now, not lose time. This is fucking hell. I had to leave the chainmail behind. No, it's so freaking deep. We're a, bit, we're a bit in the shit now. The wind is super freezing. And we're completely sweaty. And we still have about an hour to go. The sun is going down. The snow is still deep. The wind chill is really not something to mess with. And we're at high altitude here. The snow is still a bitch. So, I had no other choice. And to leave this 750 euro chainmail behind here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. Yeah. We did it, boys. We fucking did it. Brain freeze. Brain gets slow when it's so cold. And when you're exhausted. So we really need a cameraman to come with us. We cannot focus on both this shit and doing some filming that's halfway decent. But, ah, frost. Chers amis, buvons. Oh, yeah. Mais n'y perdons jamais la raison. A force de boire, mémoire, l'on va titubant le soir à tâte. Oh. Et l'on court les rues à saut de mouton. Oh. 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 Yes. Fuck yeah. Oh. Fuck yeah. Oh.
Uh, we are in a quite uh, critical situation, but uh, because it's completely dark and we are advancing in, at high risk, so don't do that. We are two crazy motherfuckers, okay? But don't do what we do, okay? Eight kilometers. Eight kilometers. And we will be good. Ah. Quel putain d'enfer. This is where the adventure starts. I have barely any energy to walk on the snow anymore. I just had to grab in some, like, just eat down some lardo, with some fast energy, eat some bucolatum, drink some posca because Still a long way, pitch black dark, it's getting cold and my energy level <coughs> is <coughs> This is where you have Exactly. Where you can prove your worth. Exactly. Always say what I mean. We made it to the top and we're gonna make it up to the down to the village. No doubt about that. On vient de retrouver notre chemin euh, après bien des péripéties grâce, au, grâce à notre bon sens, à notre mémoire, mais aussi aux marques des Calcaïs, hein, nos fameuses chaussures romaines fermées de la période tardive. Voilà, alors je tiens à faire une déclaration. Euh, je, je fais des cunilingus à toutes les Calcaïs présentes sur Terre, tu vois. Voilà. Euh, je fais des cunilingus magiques à toutes les Calcaïs. So, now we're... Here it's almost 8 o'clock. There's no snow anymore here, no ice. But we are in a dark forest now. And uh, we need to find our way down. So there's a lot of ways here. And you can't really see them on Google Maps or on the satellite images. And uh, we can roughly navigate with seeing the lights of the, of the villages here. But um, we can't just walk across the, the, the forest as we, we did earlier with some lights. So we have to try some ways and sometimes the ways are wrong but I think now we're on, the, on a good route hopefully Let's see soul guides us we did it we fucking did it You like when he's asking many questions in your state, <laughs> in your current state? <laughs> Very sexy on all four, Geza, I must tell you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 